The winner of the Trailblazer Award has done just that, carving out a successful career for herself in an industry primarily dominated and led by men. Even before entering the field of law enforcement, Cynthia Estrep knew the profession was male dominated. That didn't stop her. Cynthia is an emergency manager and sergeant with the University of Wisconsin Green Bay Police Department and one of four female law enforcement leaders in Brown County and the first woman of color. At the college, she provides valuable outreach to the LGB and multicultural student population. Beyond campus, she serves on committees and task forces. For serving as a mentor and guide to students, we present Cynthia Estrup with the Trailblazer Award. Congratulations, Cynthia. As it is said, with great power comes great responsibility. As I reflect on my 20 years in campus policing, what I've come to discover is that many of the reasons I found comfort and challenge and growth when I entered a college campus right after high school are the same reasons I find those things while working as a police officer on a college campus. When I came to a college campus as a freshman, my hopes were to stretch my comfort zone, to be challenged, to learn, to grow, and to find my fit. To this day, when I come to a college campus every day as a police sergeant, my priorities have remained the same. Additionally, I've been given the opportunity to provide these same opportunities to the campus with which I interact. I stretch students' comfort zones, I challenge them. I help them to learn from mistakes and before mistakes. I help them to grow and I help them to find their fit. Early in my law enforcement career, I began to make connections with faculty and staff throughout the campus community of which I was a part. This allowed me to grow into someone who is on her own journey and who is sharing her journey with others. As I found mentors, I also became a mentor to others, peers and students alike. I was invited to join classroom lectures, student organization meetings, and campus gatherings. I served as an alumni resource for sororities and fraternities, and I was asked to co-advise the LGBTQ student organization on campus. As an LGBTQ professional on a college campus who advised a student organization, being a part of the It Gets Better campaign for my campus allowed me to have open conversations about my personal and professional story. Through this opportunity, I connected with underrepresented students to share how I overcame many life challenges and learned resiliency, and ultimately, how it did get better, and how I found more happiness than I ever knew was possible. While I knew that law enforcement was a male-dominated field, it was not until I began to look at career advancement and promotion that I realized how wide the gender disparities are. As a woman in a non-traditional occupation, I have always had to work harder than my male colleagues to earn respect. As I began to focus on promotion, simply working harder was not enough. I have to continually prove that being a woman in law enforcement is an asset, not a deficit. I have excelled in my job as a woman because of my ability to build relationships, not just within my field, but also throughout the community I serve. These relationships allow me to have difficult conversations with marginalized populations and their experiences and barriers that they face. In better understanding the population I serve, I can identify barriers and I can be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. I can help to make a small change that may have a large impact on an individual's or group's future trajectory. I can do what I set out to do even when I was growing up. I can help people. It was not until nearly halfway through my career that I truly came to understand the concept of privilege. Privilege carries with it both power and responsibility. I am afforded privilege daily that does not belong to me. My skin is light. I do not speak with an accent. I do not appear to be a first generation Latino woman whose mother immigrated from Mexico. And you cannot identify that I am married to a woman. I can walk through the world with very little interference if I allow these assumptions to continue. However, it is my responsibility to correct these assumptions. In correcting these assumptions lies the power to make an impact for others. As I reflect on my 20 year career, there are so many people with whom I've crossed paths. Each person has taught me lessons about who I do or do not wanna be. It is my goal to apply those lessons every day, both professionally and personally. As I reflect on the people I need to thank for helping me be the officer I am today, the list is long. Today, I'd like to thank Milo Lee for nominating me for this award. Mai's connectedness to our multicultural students and our multicultural communities has allowed me to form meaningful relationships with so many people who are otherwise skeptical of people in law enforcement. I am so grateful for her and her ability to connect people and find the best in others. 
When I think of the people who have had the greatest influence on my life and who have challenged me to grow and develop, I feel fortunate to have had several people help me along my journey. The first is my childhood best friend, Jill. We have been friends for 40 years, and she is the first person in my life that taught me there is power in being vulnerable. She showed me the power in having someone who both loves you unconditionally and who calls you out when you're being outright stupid. The second is my amazing wife of 15 years, Andrea. She provides unconditional love and support. She also challenges my thinking. And when I take a firm stance on how the law works, she reminds me there's always a human side to the law. When I have a horrific shift, I know I can go home and she will listen if I need to talk, sit with me if I need to be silent or offer what I need. It is knowing that this part of my world exists that allows me to do all the other parts of my world. Finally, my two sons, Calvin and Cooper. They challenge me in ways I have never been challenged, which is an uncomfortable statement for a police sergeant to make. They love me in a way I have never been loved, and they help me see the world differently. I carry these people, my people, with me on every call and into every interaction, knowing that the lessons they've taught me and the support they provide to me helps me to help others. I am so honored and deeply humbled for being recognized for this award today. Thank you very much.